All right, just a quick video from the spinning bike today. Um, I had planned to do a run today. You know, I run five times a week. And uh, last week was my first week of 60 kilometers. So that was good. And no issues really. But I did stray a little bit from, from my plan. Uh, you know, I have an obligatory rest day every week. And that was supposed to be on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. And uh, I didn't do it. I actually went for a little run. It was very easy though, just with a friend. Um, but you know, I went for a run and I did a fair bit of walking too. So I didn't get the rest that I had planned for. Following up after my long run the day before. So there was a little bit of pain in the foot following the long run. It was a little bit worse after, after my short Sunday run. And then yesterday on Monday I went for a normal run, you know, like uh, 11 kilometers here, uh, just starting off the week. And yeah, the pain got really bad afterwards. It's basically just some minor tendonitis on top of my right foot. Nothing, no, no big deal, uh, but it was pretty painful. And then this morning it was pretty, f yeah, it was gone really. I haven't really noticed any pain today, but I knew that I had to be conservative. So rather than doing my planned run today, I was gonna do 10 kilometers on the track, just super easy. Rather than doing that, I stayed on the conservative side and decided to do a bike session instead and here I am. So yeah, I guess a little piece of advice based on my experience anyway, is that anytime you're in doubt, anytime you're like, oh, I could go for a run, but I'll probably be better off without a run today. That's when you wanna err on the side of caution and be, yeah, skip that run rather than rather than doing it and risking further injury, which is gonna mess up your training cycle even more. So yeah, I skipped my run today and I went to the gym. And here I am now on the spinning bike, just doing like half an hour, maybe 40 minutes, I don't know, of easy intensity biking. And uh, I'm also actually, rather than putting my Rather than putting the, the balls of my feet on the pedals like you normally should, I'm placing my heel on the pedal. So I'm disengaging the muscles of my foot on the top of my foot. I don't want to aggravate the injury more. So I'm just using my heels. And really this is the purpose of this workout. It's just to get a cardiovascular stimulus just a light cardiovascular stimulus, just to maintain um, my, uh, my fitness. Getting in a little bit of training, even though it's still a very easy day, right? After this bike session, I'm gonna do some mobility work. I'm gonna work on my ankle flexibility. I'll, I'll talk about that in another video. I have some interesting thoughts regarding my mobility and how that relates to my running performance. Anyway, just want to check in from, uh, from the bike, remind you guys that a training plan is good and you, you should stick to it, but whenever the body says no or whenever the body says maybe, it's probably best to be on the side of caution and take it easy, take a rest day. Or maybe do some cross training, which is what I'm doing here today. Of course, if I just stuck to my plan initially and uh, did my Sunday rest day, I'd probably be running today after all. So again, sticking to that plan, not doing more than you planned, unless your body is like, hey, you know, this is this is too easy. Like I need more. Well then then you made some mistakes in your planning process actually. And you should probably go back to the drawing board 
to look at that plan and figure out how to make it better. Of course, if you're interested in my help, I'd be happy to give you some advice on the planning process, maybe a coaching session even. Feel free to contact me. Probably best to go through the Sweet Natural Living website. I'll be happy to help out. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this little session, go do some stretching and uh, mobility work, and then head home to eat dinner. Hope your day is going well. Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you around. Bye now.